Hello folks, Chris Rainey here with Proactive Defense. So we're testing two very fine pistols that we really like and we really are fond of. Uh, the first one is a Les Bear, and uh, Les Bear is a custom pistol, and uh, it's one of my favorite in that uh, I love it when the, the fine checkering that they put on the Les Bear, I just love that. Uh, also when the blue ink gets wore off because we've been handling it, it just reminds me of a tool. And uh, a gun to me is a tool always has been. This particular Les Bear has a brass front sight insert in the front sight which helps us old guys see it in the daytime. The, the sunlight hits that brass and makes it glow. That was an old way of doing things back before we had night sights and uh, a number of people have gone back to that so I kind of like it and it's uh, a very good sight. The other pistol that we have is a Ed Brown and it's a Jeff Cooper memorial pistol and uh, so it's got Jeff Cooper's signature on it. Jeff Cooper, uh, or actually, I love what I love about the Ed Brown is the uh, stippling that they do, and uh, the Ed Brown is pretty much a work of art. It's got uh, Jeff Cooper's initials on the grips, Jeff Cooper's signature on the side, and DVC. And that's uh, for speed, power, and accuracy. That's what Jeff Cooper preached. Uh, Jeff Cooper's considered the father of the modern technique, and uh, the reason we shoot automatics today and the reason we shoot two-handed the reason we uh, do many of things with speed that we we do is common knowledge today he was the person that was pushing that and so uh, Jeff Cooper ran gun sight for many years uh, 30 maybe 40 years and uh, he was instrumental in changing the way firearms training was accomplished in the United States so uh, what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and load up and we'll shoot this uh, Les Bear first and we'll see what kind of group we can get uh, down range. Uh, we're at 25 yards and uh, we'll see which one's the most accurate. Now I realize that's uh, not objective, that's subjective because a lot of it's me and uh, we'll see how I do. Uh, but both guns are very reliable and they both have excellent triggers and excellent sights. I, I just really like shooting them both. Okay. Let's, uh, we can go down and look at that, then we'll uh, come back and shoot the other one. Okay, the Les Bears kind of known for two inch groups at 50 yards. We're at 25, and uh, that's about a three inch group. That's me shooting offhand, uh, but I feel like that's a fairly decent group in spite of uh, my own uh, shooting. So we'll see what the Ed Brown does, okay? Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to shoot the uh, Ed Brown and we'll see how we do it 25 yards. Okay, let me set this pistol down and then we'll go down there and see how we did. Okay, so I was aiming right here and I was hitting here. Uh, about the same size group. I can't tell any difference with my shooting. I'd have to get it on a bench and get braced or do kneeling or something like that to get a better group than that. But they're both very accurate and the triggers on them are excellent. Uh, 
when you shoot a fine custom made 45 you just get a big grin on your face because it's so much fun to shoot so anyway that's all for now our Ed Brown and our uh, Les Bear custom pistol test thank you for joining us